This playthrough is rated T for Teen. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Voldemort back here with another episode of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. In the last episode, we finished the Boo Saga and saved the world. And we... I don't think we de dealt with Demigraph throughout the whole time. I think he was causing some trouble, but... Did we actually deal with him during that time? Not yet, but uh, apparently he's going to be causing some trouble soon. Because apparently he wants to... Uh, wants to control the God of... Or God of Time. God of Destruction Beerus. So let's get back to that before bad things happen. Welcome back, are you okay? I didn't expect someone like Ward Beerus existed. Yep. I think I have to... The enemy is as powerful as that one. Please be careful. Alright, I'll have to... I think uh, skip the cutscene to get back to that, I believe. Let's see what happens. Because we were... Well, we ended it at the very beginning of the fight with Lord Beerus after, after losing his pudding. I don't see any changes in the scroll yet. But then... Maybe Demigra gave up. Okay, we've already seen this. Just making sure. Yeah, Beerus gets mad because he doesn't get any pudding. And you can't have any pudding unless you eat your meat, Beerus. So you need to eat your meat so you can get any pudding! No. Oh. Alright, anyway. Okay, there we go. Powerful God of Destruction, Beerus. Let's do it. Who knew the God of Destruction oh, was a hairless who, cat? Um, oh no! Hurry up! Get him! You go too, stupid! Go make you candy! This is Lord Beerus. This... This battle started for the stupidest reason. The push is gone. And there's no Super Saiyan God to be found. Good job! You must have done some real damage to Lord Beerus. If you don't give me my pudding, I'll punish you. He, he won't stop. And he's not even fighting at full power. Go tanks. Become go tanks right now. We're going to. Yay! Hey, cat face. Are you seriously throwing a tantrum for some pudding? I'll beat you down so bad. Then maybe you'll learn some manners and stuff. Earthlings might do it all the time. But it's utterly delectable. <laughs> Pudding. Even the name is resplendent in deliciousness. Sh shut up! Bad kids who defy a god will be punished with a spank. Go, Tanks! You have to go at full power or you'll lose! That's Mother is heading towards Lord Beerus! And she. She just got you back! Dare you hit my Boma! Father! Curse you! Amazing! This power is even bigger than Goku's! Do it, Father! Beat down that so called God of Destruction! You're not a Super Saiyan God! I'm destroying Earth! Going home! No! Not if I can! Fierce! Why must you always destroy? Please! You rang, Lord Beerus? It seems Super Saiyan God is nothing but a stupid fantasy like you said. Screw this. I'm destroying Earth and going home. Wait! To become a Super Saiyan God, I have to gather the energies of anyone who has a righteous heart. Everyone, share your strength with me! Seems that you have succeeded. No, I became a Super Saiyan God. You'll find out when we. Now, come on. If you're stronger than me, I will destroy her. You have to surrender. All right. Well, it's like uh, Goku. Oh, well, we already finished the fight. What's like Goku hit God status? Who knew that all it took was just a uh, multiple That's people perfect. praying to you? 
I don't think there's much more for me to teach you. Oh, by the way, I'm being taught by Gohan and Videl this episode. This episode by, brought to you by Heatab. No. <laughs> All right, let's see if we've uh, calmed down the God of Destruction for now. He seems like a petulant child. That's the best thing you need for your God of Destruction. A childlike mentality. That's good. Oh, well, it, may, it makes it more interesting, I guess. Oh, I guess we're still fighting Beerus. They just changed the uh, location. All right, let's do it. Let's spay and neuter this cat. Uh, wait, did Lord Beerus seem different just now? You should be careful. Did it look like you tried something crazy? How does it feel to a god? I never knew this world even existed. I could have never gotten here on my own. You seem dissatisfied. You don't enjoy the feeling of being a god? Kind of. I'm happy. But I hate how I couldn't fight Lord Beerus on my own. You know, without help. And that pride will ultimately be your death. What are you talking about? Makita has lots more. Oh, whoops. Sorry, I didn't mean to beat Beerus so quickly. <laughs> I, I should have just left Goku and Beerus alone for a Good. bit so they could That's talk. Perfect. I don't think there's much more for me to teach you. Well, I didn't expect to do so much damage to him either. I'm at a really high level at this point, but uh, uh, basically if you watch the Battle of Gods movie, basically Goku says he wish he could have fought Beerus by himself, and then Goku, uh, Beerus is like, don't be so prideful about that. And Goku's like, but Vegeta has more pride than I do, but actually Vegeta... Goku has a lot of pride for being able to fight things by himself. It's happened every time and basically just says you have to worry about that. But anyway. And basically the whole fight is kind of Beerus just kind of chiding Goku for the most part. So, whoops. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll try to calm down on, on hitting him as, as fast in the next fight. Or whatever's next, anyway. While fighting as a god, you somehow absorbed its power. You're quite a genius. I'm really impressed. <laughs> I'll tell you, you're way too strong for me, Beerus. Hmm? To destroy Earth! Oh no. He's serious. Deadly serious. <laughs> Look, even Beerus has his weaknesses. Now he is my puppet. Now, can you stop his power? No! Stop! Uh oh. Uh, it, it, it's all over! After everything has been destroyed. Demon God Demigras shall rule! <laughs> what? Impossible! By the way, I knew you were there. You see, my friend, I faked being hit by you. Trying to control me. That's blasphemous. Amazing, Lord Beerus! The tables have turned! Demigra, was it? I guess I'll just destroy you instead. Alright. Yeah, why does not Beerus just do that use his dis touch of destruction? Because I guess as, a, as his god ability... He can automatically destroy anything, no matter what it is, but obviously he's not going to use that. But time for a twist as we team up with Beerus, the God of Destruction, to destroy Democrat. Let's do it. Kind of surprising. Well, I guess we can give this good kitty some milk afterwards. Apparently this gave the touch of destruction. You seem like an evil guy, so I'll enjoy destroying you. I'll be taking this person to Earth first. Lord Beerus, please be careful not to destroy things. 
Unnecessarily. I don't know about that. I gotta say, it's reassuring. We have a lot of destruction on our side. With Lord Beerus backing us, Demigor won't stand a chance. Sub it, me, you got the guy of destruction to deal with. Anyway. <laughs> I do like the music that they have. Haha, poison you. As far as I know, poison just like uh, slowly drains the health. Not by a lot, though. I believe oh, wow. I can't fight in this form anymore. Oh, well. It's no matter. This battle is not even supposed to exist in history. The longer. Oh. Whoops. Very well. My mission is complete. I'm sorry. What's that? I apologize again for beating him so quickly. I didn't think that he would get hit by the full Destructo disc and take all that damage. I assume he basically just said he... That's I'm perfect. I don't think there's much more for me to teach you. I assume as shortly after that, he just says, uh, it's about time to finish this, my body's about to expire, or this mirage, or whatever. And did we just pull, like, a dragon fist type of ability on him? Like, from movie 13, or whatever it was called? We keep seeing... Well, then again, we are taking abilities from other people, and that's the point of our character, so... Eh. I haven't learned dragon fist or anything like that yet, but, uh, sure, why not? Oh, well, time to go back to time. I guess we fixed Stop Demigra for now, but, uh, he's still on the loose somewhere. Oh, welcome back. Uh, hey, uh, who, uh, who, who's who's that with you? Uh, should be no one. I can only go back by myself, right? This whole situation with Demigra has been weird. But this, this is nuts. Oh, apparently an angel and a, a stray cat and an angel have followed, have followed me home. Can I keep it, Trunks? Can I keep it? Look, it's the time nest. It's been a while since I last came here. Of course gods know everything about whatever other, other god is up to. Oh, they are the time patrollers the Supreme Kai of Time hired. Oh. Well, I guess that makes sense when you think about it. Oh my, Lord Beerus! It has been quite a while, hasn't it? Apparently they know each other. That ingrate Demigra tried to make a fool of me, so I want to find out where he is. Well... Oh, maybe you'll find him faster than we could. We've been having... Oh, wait, we know where he is. He's in his prison. He's just trying to get out, right? He's imprisoned in the crack of time. However, I fear... I fear he may break out soon. Why don't we just open the crack of time and go in there and kill him ourselves? I see. So he was changing history to create some sort of exit for himself. Well, at least you guys get the plot a lot quicker. Okay. Then, right when he comes out, I'll destroy him. Well, there could be an issue with that, but that makes the most sense, I guess. No, 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 please don't! Why not? Would that solve all our problems? Lord Beerus, please! If you fight in this world, this dimension of time would be completely destroyed! Oh, that's right. If gods fight each other, then the then the universe could die or destroyed or whatever. I forgot about that that little ev ev uh, causality. I know, because I'm the god of destruction. Well, don't feel too proud about yourself. Well, uh, oh yes, I'll make delicious meals for you if you promise me you won't fight here. Cool. Supreme Kai of Time can cook. Delicious. No, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I'll have to pass on that. Probably knows her cooking skills aren't up to par. Huh? With all due respect, let us take care of Demigra. Why? He's no. a god. He tried to use me. That's unforgivable. I mean, yeah, he might destroy the universe by fighting him, but uh, still. Besides, can you even defeat Demigra? With the power of willpower and, and oomph, and believe it, and whatever other lame excuse that Shonen anime use. We will definitely win. 
but with no plan, just because we have faith. Okay. Please, just give us, give us a chance. The lives of everyone I care about are on the line. Hmm. Lord Beerus, considering all things, why not try testing him? What? A test. That might be good. I haven't been in school in like 20, was it 23 years? I don't want it to be tested. 24. 25? 25. Let's see how well you do against Weiss and myself. A cat and an angel? Uh, okay. Yes! Thank you very much! Lord Beerus? You mean I have to fight too? You did suggest this. But it's physical labor. Oh, fine. Isn't there some blasphemy about fighting angels in general? Or is that Christian mythology and not to... Hey, hey! Hey! Stop it! You can't do that here! Go... Go... I don't know! Just go somewhere else! You're so selfish. Oh, fine. We'll go. We'll go. It must suck. It must be hard being making friends with the God of Destruction when everyone's afraid you're just going to blow up something or destroy something of theirs that's precious. It's been a while since I visited the Time Nest. I'd rather just hang around for a bit. Oh, good. Kitty Kitty's uh, staying permanently. Now, how about you come talk to me when you're ready? What is that term when animals uh, imprint? He's imprinted himself on this place, so... Supreme Kai Tai is just going to be worried the whole time while he's hanging around. It's like, oh no. Alright, where did they go? Where did they go? Oh, well there's uh, Beerus. Let's see what he has to say. Morning. Oh, you are ready then? No. Oh. That's right. And he just woke up from like, what, uh, uh, like a couple thousand years sleep or something like that? Or last time, or was it 50 years? Oh, there's Ta uh, Kai of time. How are you up to? What is it? Demigor was after Toki Toki for seven million years. He picked a fight with us gods, but his plan failed. He's now in prison in the Chasm of Time. The Chasm of Time is separated yet adjoined to all dimensions. As long as he is there, I thought he'd be helpless. He's been saving his strength for a very long time. He's using his powers to change history and distort the Chasm of Time to escape. For 75 million years, 75 million, that's some tenacity. It's a bit creepy if you ask me. Maybe he just has a thing for you, Kai. Uh, anyway. Alright. Anyone else where Trunk is? or Trunks are... Nope. Okay. Let's talk to Whis. I think we've got enough time to do uh, the training sesh or whatever with uh, Whis. Hmm? I didn't think I would have to fight. Oh, well. I have no choice. Shall we start? Sure. Then let me call on Lord Beerus. I think the guy who voices Whis also voices a uh, um, skeleton dude from One Piece and a bunch of other anime. I'm trying to remember his name now. Uh, Brooke from so, One Piece. So, are you ready? He's probably voiced some other anime. I just can't remember off, off the top of my head. Oh, you are? Ready then. Beerus, I don't recognize his voice actor. He might have been in stuff before. Maybe he's changed it a bit, but uh, I don't recognize it immediately. Yes! Let's do it! Which is odd, because Funimation uses the exact same group of voice actors for everything. Which is the, one of the few problems with, with listening to English dubs, is because you hear the same voice actor like 30 times if you regularly watch anime, from Funimation anyway. I mean, yeah, they need the work, but still, it's kind of distracting sometimes. But anyway, let's fight Lord Beerus, because that's an everyday thing. So the Time Patroller at some point just became as powerful as gods, huh? Just from stealing people's techniques or and leveling up. Of course. Time for a test. Beerus and Weiss. Oh, good. Oh, Trunks is helping us. Well, that's is my attendant. Also, my teacher. How far can you get while fighting both? All right. Here we go. I can't lose this one. Even if my opponent is the god of destruction. No matter how awful the situation is. Still hope. We can't give up. You, Goku, and everyone else. That's what you taught me. Alright, well. Gotta, gotta, gotta believe. 
that that or what's that sound from the crap <laughs> Apparently the uh, double distractor disc is really good. <laughs> well at least if they walk in. It's a surprise how well you are doing against us. Delightful. Now, how about we just leave it to that? I don't know. I never changed my mind about it. Then what, pray tell, is the point of testing then? Oh, be quiet. The battle isn't over yet. Excuse me. Well, we took care of the angel Weiss. Although he probably just let us. Win. Yay! We beat the guy. Destruction is attendant. Wow, we're quite powerful. Destructor disc for the win. Amazing. It must be all that expert training. Yeah, we... Oh, that was Videl, by the way. Anyway, yeah, we get a B for doing so well against them. I really don't get the ranking system. I really don't know how it works. I swear I do the same thing in the same mission and get a completely different result. I mean, there's probably, like, You're an algorithm, but... not bad. Thanks, I think. So, uh... How did we do on our test? Straight A's, right? I'm going home to have a nap before I go out to destroy Demigra. Seems like a good idea. Know what I mean? Well, actually, what I, I was about to say, why would you have a nap at a time like this? But then again, why would you carry the God of Destruction? Destruction is kind of your thing. So if someone destroys things, you know, it's, they're kind of doing your job for you, right? If someone just so happens to defeat Demigra in the meanwhile... Then, so be it. Oh, you're just lazy. Great. Okay. Huh? Uh, oh, uh, thank you very much. You're not subtle on the hints, are you, Trunks? <sighs> Let's go home, Weez. Yes. Lord Beerus will not wake for years once he falls asleep. Assume that you will not be receiving any further help from us. This is basically the game's way of having a more powerful character not finish a job that we should be able to. It's always one of the issues with writing is if you create a more powerful character in every sense of the word, how do they not just take the credit or do what the hero should have done or could not do easily, but whatever. Good luck and goodbye. Gotta give him motivation not to help or a reason to have the main hero do it or whatever, so. We're drawing close to the final battle with Demi Gras. We can't lose against him. Got it? By the way, uh, uh, by the way, the uh, Beerus Beerus can be a mentor for you. I don't know if it's after the game ends or before the game ends. I think you have to be like level eighty to train with uh, Beerus. By the way, so he can't be a mentor for you. The to fate learn of the of world skills. rests entirely in your hands. Yeah, looks like we're at the end of the game, or close to yes. it anyway. <laughs> how how do how do characters in these games always know that? Well, either way, we've got to prepare for the finale, but uh, not quite yet. We've got some more training to do just to make sure we learn any last skills or anything like that. So, our hero, the Time Patroller, will c continue fixing time and making sure he's got his Rep 12 skills up to max, and then we'll go to the prison of the in the crack of time and defeat Demigra once and for all. Can the Time Patroller do it? Will he and Trunks and the Time Patrollers be able to fix time and put Demigra to rights once again, either fixing the prism or destroying him for good? Or will time become askew and Demigra will rule the universe? Find out next time in the finale of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>